I'm John and welcome to John's Box, my YouTube channel and to the April ed edition of English Just For You where we analyse 10 English sentence mistakes, put them right and um, so today and I've got another 10 sentences and here we go for the first one, sentence number one. Sentence number one, which is, we don't to work in London. Now, in this particular case, there's one word which we don't need. Um, the word we're looking at is to. We don't work in London is the correct answer, therefore. We could say we have to work in London as an obligation, as a responsibility, but not we don't to work in London. That's sentence number one. And now I'm going to go to sentence number two. Here we have it, sentence number two. He isn't wanting to eat. There are two mistakes here. Uh, want we don't put in the ing form because it isn't an action verb or an active verb. Uh, it's only a desire. Um, and therefore we use the simple tense instead of isn't, doesn't, instead of wanting, want. So the answer here is he doesn't want to eat. That sentence Number two, and now let's go to sentence three. <laughs> sentence number three, which is, I don't want to be here. Well, obviously, instead of, that's my dog, uh, won't means will not. Um, I think the intention here is to have want instead of won't. So the answer should be, I don't want to be here. But I do want to be here. That's sentence number three. <laughs> sentence number four. Please forgetting him. Uh, this is what we call um, imperative sentence, so that means some kind of advice or order. So um, therefore the ing is not necessary, we use the infinitive in the verb, so the answer therefore is please forget him. That's sentence number four. <laughs> Sentence number five, we're coming up to the halfway stage. Robert fell off his bike, sorry, Robert fell off the horse yesterday. Now, sounds okay, doesn't it, to fall off, but uh, this is of uh, linking uh, two nouns, for example, level of production, um, and not what we call a particle in English, which should be with a double F. So therefore, the correct answer should be off, not of. Robert fell off, double F, the horse yesterday. That's sentence number five. <laughs> sentence number six, what we call a tag. Your name's Anne, aren't it? So this is a tag is used to check information. Um, bear in mind, this is an is. Your name is Anne. Therefore, the tag part should be negative, which it is, but not aren't, but isn't it. Is, isn't. We wouldn't say your name are Anne, but your name's Anne. That is sentence number six. Yeah. 
Sentence number seven. I was watching a film when my wife was what? Opening the door. Had to check it there. I was watching a film when my wife was opening a door. The door. So you got two actions happening, but one action is much shorter and more sudden than the longer action of watching the film. So therefore, this should be in the simple form. I was watching a film interrupted by when my wife opened the door. That is sentence number seven. Sentence number eight. He plays tennis now. Rather, if it's a now, it's happening, and to play is an action. Therefore, the place should have an ing, uh, and we're using the verb to be here. So, therefore, the correct answer is he's playing tennis, or he's playing tennis now, as we speak. Sentence number eight. Sentence number nine. Do you ever visited your friends? Now we have a do and ever. I'm asking about your habits. Um, therefore, in general, we don't need the ed. This is a general question. The answer, therefore, is: Do you ever visit your friends? Alternatively, you could ask, um, theoretically it's possible, have you ever visited your friends? But then you'd have to add some more information. Uh, have you ever visited your friends in America, for example? Here we're talking about the friends around you, who you see um, more often. That's sentence number nine. That's the penultimate question. And finally, sentence number 10, she very misses her husband. Now the very is in the wrong place. We could say here, she really misses her husband. Or the very would be at the end of the sentence with very much. She misses her husband. How? Very much. How much? very much. She misses her husband very much, or she really misses her husband. That's sentence number 10, the final sentence for today. That's it for today. Another edition of English Just For You. Bites the dust. I'll be back again for the May edition. That'll be the final edition uh, before the summer break. Then we'll be back in September. I hope everything's clear. If there are any questions or any doubts, please write to me in the comments and I'll get back to you. That's it for today. See you again in another video. Bye for now.